today we will be taking a look at the last of the big cats, macOS Mountain Lion. On here I have the latest version installed, uh, which is uh, macOS 10.8.5, and the computer that it's running on, it's a late 2012 Mac Mini with pretty much stock specs. It's got the 2.5 Intel i5, 4 gigs of uh, DDR3, 16 megahertz RAM, Intel HD graphics, uh, and it's pretty much the the stock OS that came with this Mac. So as you'd expect, it runs pretty smooth. Uh, it's got a 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive, which could be better if it was an SSD, but I've also got a super drive uh, plugged into it, and it's just, just into standard Dell display. But, um, yeah, so today we will be taking a look to see if this operating system is still usable as a, a daily uh, OS, uh, and see how much it's changed with the newest of macOS Catalina being announced and things such as iTunes doesn't exist anymore. So that's already a sign that's showing its age. So, as you can see, you've got all the older uh, skeuomorphic type designs with Finder, Launchpad, Mission Control, uh, the clear icons, shows shows for the volume. Uh, you've got the And you've got the different desktops, which uh, it is a feature that has moved on. And the old uh, uh, background design of the, I guess, like brushed type of metal. Uh, the new desktops is something that is in the newer operating system still, so that's nice. It's got the old Galaxy background. And... Uh, menu up here is pretty much stock. You've got the finder info, um, all your standard stuff, but the it's quite different. So you've got uh, the old AirDrop logo animations, applications, and so on and so forth. Launch pad. This looks more up to date, excluding the icons. You know, old Game Center, uh, App Store. iTunes is newer, but that's still it's still older. Uh, Safari when it was still the old Compass, Mail, Messages, Contacts, Calendar, everything that followed from iOS 6 and with macOS Mavericks 10.9 a lot of the look and feel of iOS 7 was transitioned afterwards um, but yeah as we start looking at the dock you've got stuff like mail which I haven't set up but yeah you got the older design the aqua reminiscent type buttons uh, Contacts, that's more of a realistic looking. It looks like a little book, the pages and such. Reminders, it's still, yeah, this is all folder. You got the textured finish and whatnot. Uh, and with notes, this is the I guess this one stands out the most with iOS 6 because you've got the yellow lined paper, you've got the leather bounded backing and uh, the font, the older font here. Messages, FaceTime, all that uh, older good stuff. But is this operating system still usable? Well, starting with Safari, it definitely looks older. If you go into Apple, it does load 
Um, but it does have its fair share of problems. This is version, I believe it's, yeah, it's Safari 6. The last updates were from 2015 for Mountain Lion. Um, so it does, it does load. Uh, if you go to Google, it does load. You can just search up something on here. It does, it, it is older, but you, you know, you could still use it if you want to. It'll probably just, just be more sluggish. Now, alternatives, uh, Chrome and Firefox are pretty much out of the picture because they dropped support uh, a while back. But with third-party browsers such as Waterfox or Arctic Fox for even older operating systems, it does work pretty much as a modern browser. So, so if you do want to use this as a more simple machine, you you could, you definitely could. Um, it is, you know, it's more fluid on something like Waterfox, but it still shows its age. Uh, basic features do still work. You know, you could play movies, watch videos, uh, browse the internet. But it does, uh, like even the icons here, they're much older than what you'd see. And the buttons with that uh, feel of looking 3D. Uh, you could use this as a daily machine, but it really depends on what you focus on. Like, if you need newer uh, software applications, then you probably should want to upgrade upgrade to something that's not not mine because this software is already pushing six years and. I mean, you'd be better off with something as High Sierra or, you know, Mojave or Catalina. But if you do go to uh, YouTube and try to load a video, it will load. Uh, it just takes a while. But... It will play... And as you can see, the old uh, pinwheel. But yeah, it does display everything if you're using something like Waterfox, which still gets updates. But it will start playing. It just takes a bit. But it can definitely play 1080p. And, uh, yeah. Mountain Lion is certainly an interesting one. Predecessor to Mavericks. Yeah, it was released back in 2012. And the last major update was three years ago as of the making of this video, um, back in 2015. And you'd be better off using something like Sierra because I've uh, tried using this operating system for a while now and problems, simple problems such as files not being, like the software that I want to use, it's not able to use the newest version because the software is simply too old. And with Windows, I mean, you don't really have that kind of problem because the, the operating system is usually supported for much longer than Mac OS versions. 
But uh, yeah, Mountain Lion Wallet is quite iconic as one of the uh, last of the skeuomorphic era days operating systems. It just isn't as viable to use anymore, kind of like iOS 6, because I mean, you'd be better off just upgrading because you can always downgrade, even though Mojave made it kind of more difficult to do it. But Mac OS Mountain Lion, while it is a interesting operating system, it's better to just upgrade because unless you have this on a spare machine, this is not the operating system to use as a daily driver. It's simply too old to be used uh, economically anyways. Because, well, it's just dropping support for pretty, pretty much everything. Many applications, including Steam and Origin, they have to use older versions and sometimes they won't even run because you can't find the older versions. But it it, re it really needs to, unless you use it for different reasons, you're most likely going to be have to update the operating system because it's simply too old to use anymore. Even though it is a great looking operating system, and I would. I would like to use it more if I could, but simple things like AirDrop with iPhone, that, that doesn't even work. Features weren't implemented until later. So, I mean, it, it's up to you, but Mac OS Mountain Lion, while it's had a great run, I think it it's just another uh, operating system of the past. And for power PC machines, they're stuck on Leopard, so this is technically the more superior version of uh, what PowerPC machines could ever dream of running.